Hello students, now in this session I will explain uh, question number 6 and 7 of exercise 10.1 as you see. Now in question number 6 we have three sections that is A, B and C. So what is there in the first sum? We have to get the, find the perimeter of each of the following shapes. That is number A is given a triangle of sides 3 centimeter, 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter. So just we will draw a figure like this. So it is a figure where all the sides are mentioned 3, 4 and 5. That is 3 centimeter, 4 centimeter and 5 centimeters. So these are the dimensions given of the triangle Now you have to get the perimeter. So what does the perimeter means? Perimeter means sum of all sides, isn't it? So we will write perimeter of a triangle is equals to 3 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 5 centimeter. Okay, now just add up all the things that is 3 plus 4 is what? 7, 7 plus 5 is 12 centimeter. So this is the solution of sum number A of question number 6. Okay, students. Now let's move on to sum number B. Now we'll discuss sum number B of question number 6. Now in question number 6 you have to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose all the sides measures 9 cm. So what is equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle is a triangle whose all the sides are equal. It looks like this students. Suppose it is a triangle and if it is said as an equilateral triangle that means they are trying to say that all the sides are equal to each other. So, and what is the measurement of each side? That is 9 cm. 9 centimeter and 9 centimeters. So this is how it will look like. Now we have to get the perimeter of this uh, this equilateral triangle. Now you have to write perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equals to. Now in this case you don't write 9 centimeter plus 9 centimeter into 9 centimeter. It's just right. 3 into 9 centimeter. Okay. So it will give you answer as 27 centimeters. So this is a solution of sum number B. Okay. Fine. Now let's move on to sum number C. Yes. Now this is sum number C of question number 6. Now in sum number C you have to find the perimeter of an isosceles triangle whose equal sides are given 8 cm and the third side is given 6 cm. So if you draw a figure like this, we know that in isosceles triangle the two arms are equal. Suppose if these two arms are equal and this is the third side, so what is the measure of the equal sides? It is 8 cm given in the question, 8 cm and it, it, this will be also 8 cm and what is the third side given? It is 6 cm. Isn't it? Now we have to get the perimeter. So as it is very easy, we have to just add up all the sides. So perimeter of an isosceles triangle would be equals to 8 centimeter plus 8 centimeter plus 6 centimeter. Fine. So if you add up what is the answer that you will get? That is 8 plus 8 is 16 and 16 plus 6 is 22 centimeter. Absolutely right. Now this is the solution of sum number 6. Now we will move on to sum number 7. I hope you all have understood question number 6. Now let's see what is there in sum number 7. Yes. Now we will discuss uh, question number 7. Now in question number 7, it is said, find the perimeter of a triangle, uh, triangle which sides measures 10 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm. So it's very very similar to the uh, question number 6a. So we will draw a figure like this, that is this is a triangle. Now all the sides dimensions are given, that is if I take this as 10 cm, what is the next dimension given? 14 cm. So this side will, will take it as 14 centimeter. So this is 10, this is 14 centimeter. And another one is 15 centimeter. Fine. So this is how the triangle will look like. Now we have to get the perimeter. So what is the formula of perimeter? That means we have to add up all the sides. 
So perimeter of a triangle, so perimeter of a triangle would be equals to just add up all the sides. That is 10 centimeter plus 14 centimeter plus 15 centimeter. Now if you add up, so what is the answer? The answer would be 39 centimeter. Okay, it's very very simple. Right. So this is what we have to do today in this particular period. So question number 6, all the sum that is 6A, B, C and question number 7. So this is the classwork and in, in my next session I will do question number, I guess I will do question number 8, 9 and let's see if we can finish up question number 10 also. Okay, till then take care all of you and stay blessed.